Hi, today is January 16th, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 84 for the year, Some Snow. There was some snow this morning, but the rain is melting it down. I caught some glimpses, I snapped some shots, but it will all be gone before I get outside. No snowflakes falling on my head, only freezing raindrops, maybe. Some snow is better than none, but maybe only barely. Poem number 85, Uncertainty. While he was meditating naked in the wetlands of Botswana and contemplating human origins, he felt an ant crawl across his cock. At least he hoped it was an ant and not some poisonous insect of some kind. But he kept his eyes closed, so he couldn't be certain. Then he felt some raindrops land on his head. At least he hoped it was rain and not a gray go-away bird pissing on him but he kept his eyes closed, so he couldn't be certain. Then he felt some clods of mud plop down his back. He only half hoped it was mud. He believed it was elephant shit, but he kept his eyes closed, so he couldn't be certain. Poem number 86, Interruptions and Improvements. Yesterday's Yesterday evening's meditation was interrupted several times with impatience, impatience and restlessness. Almost didn't finish. This morning's meditation was interrupted only with the thought of meditating naked in an African forest. When it came time to write, I went with Botswana wetlands. Sometimes the first thought is the best thought, and sometimes a bit of research makes all the difference. Poem number 87, The Interdependent Collective. And all the difference gathered together with all the sameness and formed an interdependent collective that harvested rice and other grains and weaved baskets and clothing. And everyone had food to eat and things to wear and baskets to keep their shit in. The difference and the sameness got together so well that they were almost distressed by the absence of conflict. The difference and the sameness got along so well together they were almost distressed by the absence of conflict. It was a boring and tranquil life, but the interdependent collective accomplished great things and ultimately made tremendous innovations in the field of in the fields of agriculture, art, fashion, music and dance, technology, philosophy, and the female orgasm. Unfortunately for us all, the collective vanished from the earth around 125 years ago, around the turn of the 20th century, and no records of its existence exist. And let me tell you, it's a goddamn shame. And last poem of the day is actually three instant pot haiku, poem number 88, three instant pot haiku. One, time between the time when the instant pot's unplugged and the light goes out. Two, just learned, Instant Pot filed for bankruptcy last year. Sadness and sorrow. Three, cars slush through snow as the Instant Pot persists. Quinoa is ready. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Show tonight in Brooklyn, Nikki's Unisex. Me and Dog Ball are on around eight. It's a band before, a couple bands after. Regardless, I appreciate you.